education battles. And we're losing other battles too. So do you, my question, this is my question. I think I know where you're going. Yes, ma'am. Well, are Go you going to be sponsoring any other bills besides education? Well, I, I understand. I understand that. Um, you know, our first job is to re represent our district. For example, I, I carried the, the Woodlands Independence of Houston legislation because that's my job as the state rep. Uh, public ed, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I think it's, I think it's, it's, I think it's one of the most important things our state does is educate our kids. In fact, part of the war of Mexico with Mexico, <coughs> one of the major reasons we went to war with Mexico was over public education, and the original reason for public education was uh, was to teach democracy, was to preserve our form of government. But to answer your question, if if I, if I could, now, when I say that, this two sessions ago was, was a, a new accountability system that we were proposing. I mean, that, that took a lot of time. And if, let's say it's the health care compact, okay, as an example, something I was, interested, I was very interested in, okay, as an example. But Lois Colcourse is the chair of public health. Now, if I'm going to author that bill, she's going to shoot me. You, you see what I mean? So I cover as much as I can. Um, I'm trying to think, well, anyway, but House Bill 3 took, took a lot of my time. In this last session, uh, man, it was tough because I had to come up with uh, a reduction of um, $4 billion. And it started at $9.8 billion, okay? Which, by the way, was, was affordable. And, and, and we had to do work on teacher contracts, House Bill 400, Wisconsin Light. Can I ask a so, question? So Here's as right. chairman... You really can't it, do. You can't. You can't really uh, sponsor. Well, you, you you can certainly be involved and help get it passed. I mean, that's that's what you'll do. But but the chair of that committee, for example, you know, Brandon Brandon Creighton had the had the uh, sovereignty special. So I'm not going to take you know, I'm not going to take his bill. I mean, he's the chairman. Right. If he doesn't submit it, I hope you would. Well, I mean, but but you know, you, you talk about that, and you cover you cover those kinds of things, where uh, that that's what an interim is for, and you talk about the kinds of legislation that you're going to have, and uh, and then that's why you have interim hearings to study different things to to look at what's going to happen. Well, the the the, uh, the bill that I carried for you guys, the seminary. That was that was important, and and because it was you guys in in my district, that's why they let me. You know, they, they didn't interfere with me carrying it. Well, but actually, well, it was you weren't chairman of the education. No, I wasn't. You're right. I was. I mean, that, that's so true. You probably did carry that. Yeah. And I have, and I and I still will. But but if they're if they're of interest charge, to, my, if they're <laughs> to my to my community to my district, well, the, you know, the, the Woodlands. You know, that was a local governance bill, but it's my district, you know, and I, I work for my district, so anything that pertains to my district, I better carry. Well, okay, could we ask you to, to give us a brief... Can I ask a question? <laughs> no, not unless I can do so much. Okay. You can hang he's around. The, and, uh, he's the last one. You can hang around there. Well, last, uh, last time I did was two years ago. I came back. So. Yes, you did. And I'd be happy to do that again. Uh -huh. You don't know what to what happened to me. Oh, you got trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Abigail's a tough task. Okay. <laughs> so I get... I'm, I'm to a minute for wrap-up. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and to answer the second part of your question, yes, if there's a bill that somebody is, is not going to, and my district is very interested in, then yes, I'd be happy to. Okay, uh, being a state rep is 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 a fulfilling job, but it is a full job. It's uh, there's always something to do. Just uh, and, and in education, you know, Texas uh, Texas is looked at from many from the rest of the country. That's why it's so serious. Well, it's, it's extremely so, serious, and I, and I spend a lot of time on it, and I want to get it right. 
and we're about to, when I say we're about to, I, I, we've made great strides in, in our accountability system, for example. Our accountability system is, I would say, is, is probably right now the best in the country. In fact, some of this race that's top stuff that we ignored, I mean, all that was was a, a bribe for stupid states. Uh, <laughs> and and, the, and the, the, the national, was it the, the core, the common core standard. We just did. We just we did our standards. We have good standards. We have standards better. In fact, do you know who wrote the math standards for Common Core? Uh, a guy by the name of Yuri Treisman, who's a math professor at the University of Texas. So, so, so the Common Core copied a lot of what Texas already has. So, I can see you standing up. And you're not touching me. <laughs> I, let me tell you, I appreciate what you're doing. Okay, I. I I mean, here it is, 9.33 oh, okay. uh, on a, I don't know what night this is. Tuesday. <laughs> no, Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So, so thank you. Thank you for doing this and putting up with me, Betty. <laughs> well, thank we you. want to thank you very much for the time you've given us. And as and always, I'll come back. As always, we couldn't use more time. Yes, sir. Got, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It. Yeah, I, I apologize. I, I wouldn't have gone off on a tangent. Thank you. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.